All right, we're here with the uh, Alcourt Super Sailfish uh, Zha Zha. Talk a little bit about this rudder assembly installation. The um, old style rudder had this uh, rudder releasing mechanism where this vertical plate here is on a pin and you're gonna have to just figure out the, hey, wait a minute, boat's upside down. So just invert the video on your computer or flip upside down and watch it. However you wanna do it, but there's a uh, components there's a deck plate up here, which has a little spring plate. Spring plate and deck plate attached there. There's a little wedge right there that this spring plate, just think diving board, is uh, here with a carriage bolt that goes actually inside the boat through the transom up to the top here. You got this keel plate on the bottom here, or latch plate. It's attached with the screw forward and then this vertical plate on the rudder here hinges on the pin, the uh, expensive pin right there it is, hinges on that pin which is how you remove and install the rudder and the bottom plate, the vertical plate goes into a little depression there so it's called latch plate. So the idea was if you hit something, submerged, it will pull this, pull tension down on this plate here, let that, let this latch plate go up a little bit and the rudder will pop out. Right now I've got it tightened up real tight, the uh, little wing nut there. So if I try to pull on it, it doesn't pop out but if I loosen it up one two three half turns now I pull on it it pops out so there's the little bottom part of the vertical plate that goes into the depression and the latch plate there so if you're out sailing you could just push on a tiller push it back in and gauge it in no windy situations you want to come down here put a couple more turns on that that's that's shortening that carriage bolt. It's pulling down on this piece of metal here, this spring. You can actually kind of see the bend in it right there. And keeping everything uh, tight. So what we'll do a lot of times when we put these on, we'll leave this real loose. The rudder's off the boat. We'll put the, uh, put the cool little, insert the little pin. Throw down the little latch on it. Come up and see how loose it is. That's too loose. So then we'll put, you know, one, two, three half turns on the wing nut, get it tight. And that's pretty good. And you can, depend on how many obstacles or beaches you intend on hitting and how often you can adjust that wing nut tension as you like. A couple of things about these systems by the way this is the old elephant ear rudder very little rudder surface area but you know you got a shallow keel so you don't you don't really need a whole lot there but this pin in most of the pictures or manuals you see that little keeper chain a lot of times you see the keeper chain was attached to the hull but we switched it around we like to keep this pin attached to the rudder because the rudder usually gets thrown in the back of the car rides around whereas if you leave it on the boat it can break fall off end up on the uh, side of the road and you're on ebay looking for a 50 dollar pin so that's one tip for people uh, the other thing just once again a reminder about this this carriage bolt there's actually a bolt going all the way through you know it's going through it's going through the inside of the hole it's going through a three quarter inch piece of plywood so that bolt will not move left and right when you get on a newer style fiberglass boat the bolt is actually outside of the transom so and there's a little indentation there so what 
what Alcourt did once they started having problems with the bolt wiggling left and right on a fiberglass boat and the rudder popping loose is they sold this little plastic tube to, uh, to help capture that bolt and they keep it moving around so much. You need to find the Alcourt part? Not really, you can find just some other part and they come in different lengths. The, uh, the sailfish transom is a shorter, so the bolt's shorter. And the wooden sunfish transom is shorter than the fiberglass bolt. So the bolt's shorter. On the uh, fiberglass sunfish, the bolt's quite a bit longer, about seven and a half inches versus four inches. So you gotta get the right length of tube. Let's see this one. Only being about that long, that's not the right size tube for the fiberglass boat. So there are uh, longer tubes out there. In fact, there's, there's one right there. It goes with the fiberglass carry, uh, fiberglass boat. Anyway, we're gonna spin you around here. Yep, we'll talk about that for a minute. So once again, the fiberglass, this is a, um, vertical plate for the wooden boats, the sailfish and the sunfish and the fiberglass sailfish has a shorter vertical plate. On the um, fiberglass sunfish, it's got a longer vertical plate. And I'm looking around my wall here for, uh, see if I've got any of those hanging nearby. Can you see we got quite a few parts. Oh, here's some more, uh, some more of the bolts with the tubes on them. It's not there. Hiding un under uh, Mr. Smiley there. So if you um, are have one of these old style systems, then you should uh, investigate on a fiberglass boat, grabbing one of those tubes, and that'll help you out a little bit. So this is the uh, Alcourt Super Sailfish uh, Jaja, sailfish transom, small. Here's the uh, zip, the wooden sunfish transom, small. And back inside the uh, standard sailfish Winnie, which is two feet shorter than the Super Sailfish, small transom on uh, her also. So we got uh, everything attached, we had to uh, had to notch this keel strip down so we get the right distance between the deck plate and the latch plate. Installed that. The Zha Zha came with all the hardware. We had to do the cutting because we put the new, new keel on. And we upgraded from this older screw that was in there with uh, all the threads mostly gone. The newer silicone bronze number eight screw, about inch and a half, goes through that plate here through a little bit of keel into a through a quarter inch plywood and then to a three quarter inch uh, uh, keel longer on inside so we're gonna clean all this up now and uh, peel this tape off and start looking at some uh, striping for the bottom hope y'all having a good one